dear students, I would like to present to you the concept of the marginal probability density function, and I will be presenting it with the help of an example. Subse pehle aap ye dekhe ke agar if we have two continuous random variables, x1 and x2, then the joint PDF is written as small f of capital X1, capital X2 at the point small x1, small x2. And of course, we will need to take the double integral of this function with respect to both x1 and x2 in order to obtain the total probability that the one that is equal to one. Um, ye to bunyadi baat hai regarding the joint PDF. Now that we have this thing, now how do we define the marginal PDF of x1 and the marginal PDF of x2? Well, it is very simple. For finding, in order to find the marginal PDF of x1, all we have to do, students, is to integrate joint PDF with respect to x2. Let me say it again. Agar aapko marginal PDF x1 ka chahiye, to joint PDF ko integrate kar dein with respect to x2. Or agar aapko marginal PDF x2 ka chahiye, to aap joint PDF ko integrate kar dein with respect to x1. Uh, let me present to you the algebraic formula. Jo kuch maine abhi kaha, that can be written as follows. Small f of the random variable x1 at the point small x1 is equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of uh, small f of the random vector x1, x2 at the point small x1, x2. And this integral is with respect to x2. We have written there dx2. We focus on the integral kiss variable ke respect. Hum le rahe. So you can see that in order to obtain the marginal of x1, we are having the integral with respect to x2. Exactly the same way we have for the other one and that is in front of you on the screen. Now, let us take a simple example. Suppose that the random uh, variables, continuous random variables, x1 and x2, have the joint PDF given by small f of x1, x2 is equal to x1 plus x2, and the limits of x1 and x2 are 0 to 1. Yani, x1 also goes from 0 to 1 and x2 also goes from 0 to 1. So we have this particular joint PDF and of course you can check for yourself that if you take the double integral of this PDF both with respect to x1 and x2 from 0 to 1, QK minus infinity or infinity, we generally write it, but when you have it from 0 to 1, so obviously you will write 0 to 1 likhenge for both of them. You can check it yourself that this uh, double integral will come out to be equal to 1. So what is it? Now, suppose that we are wanting to find the marginal PDF of x1. So just do exactly what I said a short while ago, that simply integrate this joint PDF with respect to x2. x1 ki nikal rahe, x2 ke hisab se, integrate kar de. So let us do it right now. Integral from 0 to 1 of x1 plus x2 with respect to x2 is equal to the integral of x1 
with respect to x2 plus the integral of x2 with respect to x2. Now, let's do it separately. The first one is what we have written in x1 integral. Ke andar, that will come out because when we are integrating with respect to x2, students, x1 then acts as a constant. Or if it constant, ki tarah act kar rahe, then we can take it out. So when we take it out, what are we left with inside? We are left with 1. Ab 1 ka agar hum integral le with respect to x2, what do we get? Of course, we get x2. Uske baad uspe limits apply kar dije, 0 to 1. So upper limit minus the lower limit, x2 pe laga de, 1 minus 0. So that is equal to 1. Or saath wo jo bahar nikala tha, x1, wo uske saath multiply kar dije. What do you get? x1 into 1, yani x1. Ye jo pehla part tha, this is how it is. Now, let us focus on the second part, the integral of x2 with respect to x2. So kya aega? Obviously, x2 square over 2. Ab iske upar limits apply kar dije, 0 to 1, upper limit minus the lower limit. So x2 square over 2 jo hai, uski jaga 1 square over 2 minus 0 square over 2. Solve kar lije, obviously it is equal to half. So therefore, is sare ke baad, what is the final result? The final result is that the marginal PDF of x1 is small f1 of x1 is equal to x1, jo pehle integral ko solve kar ke aya, plus half jo abhi second integral ko solve kar ke aya. But students, you cannot complete it, uh, you know, just write this and think that it is complete. You must write the domain of this function. Ya, dusre lafzo mein, the support of this function. Chunki ye marginal of x1 hai, to zahir hai ke aapko x1 hi ki jo range hai, wo likhni hai. Uh, x1 and x2, you know, you remember, both of them were going from 0 to 1. So, zahir hai ke phir yahan pe aap iske saath aage comma aur uske baad likhenge 0 less than x1 less than 1. Aur jo aur zyada formal or rigorous or mathematically proper way of writing it hai, uske tahet you will also write 0 elsewhere. So this is how you can find a uh, marginal of x1 and I leave it to you to find in a very similar manner the marginal PDF of x2.